How much should you share about your relationships that happened during the time you were apart? I'm gonna tell you what not to share. <laughs> All right? Don't bring the sex part up. Don't bring it up. Oh. Because if you think you're gonna... Yeah. No. That's gonna backfire. Guys think they're yeah. gonna be slick yeah, that with conversation that. No. Well. Yeah. No. I, I want honesty, but not necessarily the truth. You know what I'm saying? I don't. Like, you don't, I actually don't know what you're saying. Meaning, meaning, I want you to be honest and I want to know what happened, but I don't need to know the details of the situation. No, 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 no. That's Are you talking about sexual? Sexual? Me. Sexual? Like but sexual? that's just me. Or generally? Well, if I'm getting back into a relationship with someone, and it is a, it is a significant relationship, and it's, it's healthy, I, if I'm feeling something, then I probably need to work on myself a little bit more if I'm insecure to the place where I'm feeling like that person needs to tell me everything or doesn't need to. Well, that's, yeah. If it's me, the only thing I need to know about the person who you were dating who wasn't me is that it's over. Right? right? You are back. You are here with yeah, me. Part. I need to know that you're emotionally available yes. to me. I need to know that you're committed to moving this thing forward. You gotta have a couple of different Absolutely. lists. Absolutely. Right? There's some stuff you need to know, and there's stuff you're just curious about. But I'm just no, gonna, right? you can't doctor. be curious. That's a slippery slope. I don't wanna know a thing, because I don't need to be holding you to the same standard when we were together, when you're separate. You know what I'm saying? But like, there is there, something it's too... to be said about knowing the who mm -hmm. and the what, because you wanna know if it's a friend of yours, if it's gonna cause a potentially humiliating scenario, and what for your oh, health. You don't need to be with him. But the, the help friend. element, for example, <laughs> that's, that's, a, whole, that's a whole that's a whole nother thing. But look, there's some things I need to know. If you were out there and you had a baby while you were out there in them streets, I need to know that, right? Oh, well, you gonna find that out. I'll just I'll just add that like my personal story is that our personal relationship with my wife is that that we dated and then I freaked out and then we didn't date for like a year and a half. And then we got back together and that was it. Um, there's a reason for getting back together. You have to be sure what the reason is. I knew I was gonna spend the rest of my life with that woman because that's what I realized in my time away is that that's who I wanna be with. <laughs> what happened in the last 36 years of my life is my 36 years of my life. Right. You're not making a commitment to me moving forward yeah. and I'm making a commitment well, to Well, now, you. let me say this, let me say this. Two things you need to know about anybody from your significant other's past. You need to know where are they and are, is there still a connection? Those are two right. things I need to know as a man. Okay, where does dude live? Where he stay? Where he at? Because if he's in the same city, I'm gonna see him somewhere. I need to know where that, I, so, so I can get ready. And are you connected? Did, did y'all buy some property together? I need to know what's happening. Do y'all have a credit card together? I got to know something so I can prepare for it. Don't let me get surprised. You know, we out, we sitting up at the show, and um, I, can we sit somewhere else? Why? There he is. <laughs> now you got a problem. Well, wait a minute. That who is? My ex. Wait a minute. He at the movie. No, I need to know where he, I, I need to know where does he yeah. stay so I can, I'm just, I'm just that way. I just need to be prepared. There could be three or four yeah. exes. I can't, right. him, Ooh. oh, and there's him, Ooh. there. Yeah, there but right. see, if we done split up for a year and a half and you got four exes, <laughs> <laughs> me, me, me and you don't That's need to. That's a whole other conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I have told women <laughs> on this show many times, your maximum number of relationships. Mm. When a man asks you, say it again. Three. It's three. I don't give a damn if you've been with 30 men. <laughs> when he asks you how many <laughs> relationships you've been in, three is your max number. Yeah. I think that is crazy. Three. Okay. That is crazy. Well, tell them 30 and watch how crazy. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. we're going to take a quick break. Uh, we got some more straight talk. We got a good panel, y'all, so stick around. Hey, you made it to the end of this video. I got a lot more that you're gonna enjoy, so just click to watch the next one. And make sure you subscribe to always know what's happening.